Yeah, and I knew, you know, we got off to a shaky start. It was, you know, it kind of got slow. We really couldn't get a score or get a get a good drive in. So um, I know once he called my, my number, I was going to make a play. We always ask you about the big, long passes, but it seems like you've made more of a concerted effort this year to become more of a, an all-around, well-rounded receiver with the short to intermediate stuff, too. Yeah, you know, that's one thing we did work on all summer, uh, you know, during practice and uh, in the spring also. Um, so it's just a matter of time of just showing it. Um, you know, like I said before, we really didn't open the offense much up, um, you know, this past game with, with Navy, with, with the kind of the weird defense. But um, I think now, from now on, you know, each and every game is going to be different. So you get a chance to to see, uh, you know, different guys do different things. What percentage of the offense you think we saw in terms of, uh, let's say, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being very vanilla to 10 being, you know, the whole thing was there, what, what were you guys at? I'll probably say about four or five. Okay. You know, we really didn't didn't do a whole lot um, passing and running, but uh, you know, we got the job done. That's when, all that when you break open in a big moment, what, what does it feel? Like? What, what's the rush? What, what do you feel uh, when you know you're wide open and and the ball's in the air? You just got to catch it and score. And yeah. That's uh, the one thing that. Whenever the ball's thrown to me, I just try to catch it and just run as fast as I can. But can you hear the crowd sort of? Cheering, gasping, whatever you want to call it, you know, you can uh, when when a when you break wide open. Can you hear that? No, nah, usually whenever whenever I run and and I look back for the ball, it seems like everything's just is silent. It's just me and the ball, and I'm focused on the ball and just catching and scoring. That, that ball was a little underthrown too. Uh, <laughs> and JT said he was just worried that you were so wide open, he didn't want to miss you. Did well, it seem like it took forever to get there? Yeah, it did. You know, that that's happened a few times. Uh, here and it's, it's happened in high school before, but uh, I just make the adjustment, catch the ball, and, and, and do what I can. Did you think you were going to get caught? No. I didn't. Kevin, <laughs> when, when Braxton went down, Coach Meyer said that everybody on the team had to kind of pick up each one of the other units. Do you, the receivers talk about that as well to help out JT as much as possible? Uh, yeah, you know, we, I don't, you know, the, the team kind of kind of was down when, when, when we found out Braxton was, was out for the season. And obviously, missing a you know a player like that for this team is is very devastating. But um, you know we had to move on. You know we were gonna play the game without him. And uh, you know I think JT is 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 taking that step. Um, we're filling his shoes. Uh, we're throwing the ball and things in that nature. And uh, for speaking on the receivers, you know we you know we knew how good JT was. And um, you know we're just gonna continue to work with him um, and, and get him confident as, as possible. In a game like that, like do you, you kind were... of lobby the coaches when they're when they're crowding the line of scrimmage and kind of daring you guys to pass? Do they? Do you kind of lobby the, the coaches to, to throw the ball more, or do you not go down that path? Uh, yeah, we well, you know, all the receivers we wanted to touch the ball. You know, everyone on offense wants to touch the ball. It's just a matter of game planning and, and you know just uh, the play call. It just seemed like they were just kind of daring you guys to throw the ball a lot. I mean, they were like really crowding up. Did you? I mean. I'm sure you were noticing that. Yeah, yeah they, they were, you know, crowding up up front a little bit and kind of stopped our run a little bit. And, uh, you know, we needed to throw the ball to, you know, to get the offense going. And, and you know, we did. And, you know, it's all in touch now. Can you talk about JT's demeanor? We were just talking to um, Taylor over there. And he said that, you know, just because he's a freshman and a young guy, you guys have to respect him as a quarterback. And he says that he has that the respect in the huddle. Can you talk about his leadership? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know he he's he's very mature kid. Uh, you know he came in when he when he found out that he was going to play. Um, he was very level headed about it. Uh, just worked extremely hard. Um, you know watching him you know do the things that he does kind of remind me how Kenny was when he was here. Um, you know from preparation to to you know being a leader on the on the field and and you know rallying guys around whenever something bad happens. You know that's what he does.